I'm Jennifer Sness, you're watching News 24 Live. Well, welcome back to Real News, Funny People, where we talk about the real news with funny people. Today, joining me in studio are Oliver Booth and Phil DeLonga. Thank you for hello. getting my name right the third time. <laughs> oh, hello, hi. You've, you've got my name right every time. I know, it's such an easy name to remember. Yours, I'm, on the other I'm sorry, hand. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, the first story we're talking about is Winnie the Pooh. He might be banned from a Polish playground after politicians said the character is a half-naked hermaphrodite who is an inappropriate role model to children. Now, uh, counselors have blocked the poor bear from being used in the park because of his dubious sexuality. And I just want to read this quote. I thought this was the best quote in the story. Uh, one man recited this poem in Polish. Winnie the Pooh is an alcoholic and a liar. <laughs> he walks with no underwear and has cut off his testicles. Sounds like an extreme alcoholic to me. He is a bear. Well, that's what <laughs> bears do. When, did, when is it a problem that bears don't have pants on? I don't, I've actually never seen a bear's balls. Uh, I've never seen a bear, but I mean, that is a, I'm being deadly <laughs> serious. I've never seen, like with dog, I've seen more dog's balls, dog's bollocks, but I suppose I see more dogs. But you know what I'm saying? Like a, a, balls, <laughs> uh, a bear's balls are not really visible. To be, um, to be fair, bears don't have shirts either. Yeah. It's true, at least he's covered up half his body. Drunk? Why is he a... I don't know, I think they're just saying that because he's eating honey all the time, that is a symbol for drinking alcohol. Oh, I don't know, I don't know what goes see. on in Poland. Okay. Okay. That <laughs> is... So they yeah. say he's dubious sexual nature, or mm -hmm. dubious sexuality. Because he doesn't have a, a, any parts that determine his sexuality. Or maybe they're just overreacting about somebody putting their hands in the honey pot. Yeah. Maybe. They're taking <laughs> it a bit far, I think. But, uh, Pooh Bear, he's loved by everyone. I mean, I'm sorry, this, you're really scraping the barrel if you're going to go out and attack Pooh Bear. I mean, I, I mean, look at him. I love him, and he's he Canadian. Is. Yeah, he's from he Winnipeg. He's from Winnipeg. <laughs> hey, I know my Pooh Bear. I know <laughs> Pooh Bear was, was uh, conceived in, in Winnipeg. Somebody read Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. no, but the, the thing is, the thing is, like, Obviously, if Winnie the Pooh is from Canada, then we can assume that he's going to be quite liberal. We don't know what gender he is. That's a very good liberal stance to take in a children's show, I believe. We don't know what he is, so what's the problem? Anyways, should he be banned from the park? The park? What, it, what the real Winnie the Pooh? Not the, the real Winnie the, Winnie the Pooh park. park. This Polish park, they want to ban him. Ban his... Um, Winnie the Pooh oh, or drunk Winnie, the, the, drunk Winnie the Pooh, because... If he really is drunk, then it's a problem. If he's drunk, you shouldn't be around kids. Look, if, yeah, uh, uh, Winnie the Pooh, I mean, what a legend. I've, uh, I've, yeah, I don't like Poland now. That's what, I've just, I just hate Poland. Even though this is probably only a couple of people heading on, on Winnie. I, I just, the country now. Aren't the Polish go drunks? There. Yeah. They are, are, they are quite high up on the level of top 10. With South Africa, of course. Yeah, and Canada. And Canada too. Yeah, Canada's quite yeah, a big, big, big drinkers. drinkers. But I read a bit of an article the other day about Winnie the Pooh and all the characters, and somebody's now gone and sort of analysed every character and how they represent flaws in humans. And they've said that Winnie the Pooh is a drug addict or alcoholic. A drug addict? Yes, because he relies on honey so much, and he'll do anything to get bear. it. But he's a bear. Bears like honey, yeah. come on. And drugs. <laughs> Eeyore apparently represents depression uh who's the piglet 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 represents piglet. extreme anxiety so there's people taking it very far but why don't people just focus on more important things like what put that energy that you've like in in uh, assessing this cartoon character into actually doing something useful well the interesting thing is it's actually the politicians who are focusing on this it's not the general public. So the general public are saying, we wish our politicians would focus on something more important, just like you're saying, Oliver. So that sounds like a universal law yeah. of politics. <laughs> Everyone's complaining about the politicians not focusing on real issues, and the politicians are focusing on non-real issues. Like Winnie the Pooh. Like Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, look, I mean, yeah. If, if Zuma starts going after cow and chicken, then <laughs> we, yeah. I mean, I like that segue. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, and spell and this spe spelling. You can go after Pooh's spelling because honey is spelled H-U-N-N-Y. That's the only thing, the only bad thing I can say about Pooh. Learn to spell, even though you're a bear. 
And poo is spelled uh, wrong too. There's no H yeah. in poo. 